Each time you run Asset Track, it displays the main screen as shown. If a database has been created, details on the assets will be displayed in the spreadsheet-like area of the screen called the grid. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a set of icons that take you to the most often used parts of the program. These icons allow access to the assets screen, which is shown here. The data transfer screen for transferring data between asset track and the barcode reader. The print barcode screen, as asset track has an inbuilt barcode printing function. Borrow assets screen for when you're borrowing assets to someone. And finally, the report screen, where you'll find a number of useful reports, such as sorted by barcode, and we can preview that report here, and you can see the layout of the reports. These are just one of the reports shown, and there are quite a number of them, as you can see. Note that you can also use the menus and toolbar icons along the top of the screen to change the different parts of the program. So we can see here the asset location and the barcode reader. And you can see asset track is configured to run on a number of terminals such as the Casio DTX8, the Denso BHT300, so returning back to the asset screen, the asset grid is separated into five vertical columns, each with a heading at the top. If you click on a heading, the asset data on the screen will be sorted by that heading. Click once for ascending and again for descending order. And you can do that with each column. Note that you can decide which columns of asset information are displayed on the grid and the order in which they're displayed. I cover that under customizing the main screen or you can refer to our excellent help files. Here are our help files. You can see here how they're sorted and just simply click on the customizing the main screen and that will take you to the area of the help files that relates to that. And in this particular case, customizing the main screen. You can move around the database of the assets by using the scroll bar on the right side of the screen. The left and right facing arrows move back and forward by one asset and the arrows with a vertical line at their point move to the first and last asset in the database. As you move through the database in this way, you should notice that on the left edge of the grid there is a small black arrow. That shows the currently selected asset and that this asset is also highlighted in the grid in a different color. So let's scroll there but we can follow the arrow and you can see here it's in a different color. So displaying one by one or going to the end of the database and going back to the beginning. Later I cover this in more detail under selecting assets or again, you can refer to our help files. If you want to view or edit an asset, double click on that asset. We'll select this one. Alternatively, and that will open that asset and the information that's available to you and that you can populate. And again, we cover that in another part of the program. 
You can also right click anywhere within this grid and select edit from the menu that pops up and that will edit the currently selected asset. This now completes a general introduction into Asset Track.